Okay, so now let us proceed with the next discussion. So, core tiles ang ating diniscuss kanina. Ngayon, proceed na tayo class sa deciles. Okay, so there are nine deciles, deciles, these nine deciles denoted by D sub 1, D sub 2, up to D sub 9. Because deciles divide, the, divide into 10 equal parts. Okay po. Divide the sorted values into 10 equal parts. So, yan yung corresponding percent. Every uh, D sub, D sub 1, D sub 2, and so on. So, as shown above, the fifth decile is equal to the second quartile or the median. Or median. So, ang fifth decile daw po is... Yeah, 50%. So, equivalent siya sa second quartile. Alam na natin, ang second quartile ay um, 50% median. Gitna. Deciles are useful when dealing with large numbers, values, or quantities. So, as shown up from the previous slide, the fifth decile is equal to the second quartile or the median. Deciles are useful when dealing with large number of values or quantities. So, example number one, find the fifth decile for the given set of values. So, dito naman, hanapin lang daw po natin ang fifth decile. So, we have A and B. So, let's start with letter A. Yeah. So, first is we have to sort each of values in ascending order. So, pataas po yung uh, numbers or yung given. So, since we are tasked to find the fifth decile, the fifth decile is the one half or one over two times n plus one th value. So, pang ilan, di ba? So, we have one over two or one half times seven plus one equals one over two times eight equals four. So, isen pang apat na value. So, ang n natin is seven kasi seven yung ating given dito. Diba? Yung data ay pito. So, fourth value daw. So, ano ba yung pang-apat na value dito? So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it is 81. So, ibig sabihin, for letter A, the fifth decile is 81. So, next. Okay. So, number, uh, letter B. Example naman. So, letter B example is also uh, fifth decile pa rin ating hinahanap. So, the fifth decile or the second quartile, it is the mean of 1 over 2n and 1 over 2n plus 1 values. So, dito naman, ang ating n is 6. Okay? So, 6 ang ating n dito. So, ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin natin dito is ito pong formula na to. So, 1 over 2n at 1 over 2n plus 1. So, 1 over 2n, so, ang n nga ay 6. So, 1 over 2 times 6 is 3. So, third value. So, ang third value natin is yung 35.6. Okay, 1, 2, 3. And then, 1 over 2 times 6 plus 1 is yung pang-apat naman na value, which is yung 44.4. Then after nyan, 35.6 plus 44.4 divided by 2 is 40. Okay, so yun yun. So again, kaya ang ginamit natin dito sa ating letter B is dalawa kasi nga even yung count ng ating data, 6. Okay, so yun lang. Yun yung paghanap lang ng fifth decile. Kaya mag-proceed tayo sa group data. Okay, deciles of group data. So, dun sa quartiles, actually sa quartiles naman at percentiles, uh, magkakagaya lang sila ng kung paano yung formula. Magkakagaya lang sila halos ng formula. Ang pinagkaiba lang nila is yung dito sa ilalim. Tsaka syempre yung mga Andito sa kapag quartile, so QC yan, since decile to DC. 
So ang R natin, nagre-represent po kung ano yung hinahanap. So deciles po, ibig sabihin hanggang 9, di ba? Example, hinahanap nga ay first decile, second up to ninth decile. And then, ang atin yung ito, LBDC, kung basahin niya na yung lower boundary of the decile class, plus R, plus the quantity of R, times sum of the frequency over 10 minus cumulative frequency of the lower class next to the decile class over frequency of the decile class times class interval. Okay, so example. The following table shows the weights in kilograms of 50 high school students. And then hanapin natin dito is third decile. Then interpret this value. So again, after po natin makuha yung answer, kailangan interpret natin kung ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng answer natin. So as you can see, in our example po is nakatable na. So yan, 40 to 42 ay isa daw po. 43 to 45, 1. 46 to 48 is 2 and so on. So for uh, 50 high school students, so check nyo po agad if uh, 50, 50 nga ba yung frequency natin. So, 1 plus 1 and so on hanggang 7. Wait lang, check nga natin. Okay, pwede mo check nyo rin po. Kasi parang meron po. Ayan, so check this, correct? So, next natin. Ayan, so frequency class boundaries and cumulative frequency. So, kagaya yung sabi ko kanina, parang ah, kagaya lang din naman nga siya ng quartiles. Okay? So, since meron tayong weights at frequency, total lang natin, sum of the frequency is 50, ang class boundaries class is makukuha natin, depende po dito sa ating given na weights. So, itong ating weights is uh, whole number. Di ba? Wala siyang decimal. So, ibig sabihin, 0.5. 0.5 ang isusubtract natin dito sa 40, 43, and so on para makuha yung 39.5, 42.5, hanggang dito sa 63.5. And then, itong 42, 45, hanggang sa 66, 0.5 din naman class ang ating idadagdag para makuha yung 42.5, 45.5, and so on, hanggang dito sa 66.5. Ganun lang kasimple yung pagkuha ng class boundaries. And then dito sa cumulative frequency, depende dito sa given natin na frequency. So 1, kaya po yun yung inilagay natin dito na kauna-unahan. And then just add, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 6 is 13, 13 plus 7 is 20, 20 plus 15 is 35, 35 plus 8 is 43, 43 plus 7 is 50. So dapat po yung last number po is equal po din sa sum of the frequency. So, dahil okay naman, so, ibig sabihin, tama po yung ating ginagawa. So, next natin, ayan. So, ito yung nakuha nga po natin sa table, sa class boundaries at cumulative frequency. So, uh, ilalagay lamang po natin yung ating mga uh, given or yung data natin dito po sa uh, A, B, C, D, E. A, A, B, C, D, E. So, we have A is 15. So, kaya po 15 kasi nga 3 po, di ba? 3 yung hinahanap natin. 3 times 50 divided by 10. So, 150 divided by 10, 15. And then, dahil 15 ang letter A natin, tingnan natin dito sa cumulative frequency kung saan po ba yung 15 papasok. So, dito sa 13 at sa 20. Okay? So, ano ba yung kanunahang number sa baba ni 13? So, 54.5. Yeah, 54.5 ang ating letter B. Yun yung lower boundary of the decile class. And then, ang ating cumulative frequency for letter C is ano yung kanunahang number? Diba? So, 13 at 20 nga. So, ibig sabihin, 13. Kaya yun yung ating letter C, 13. So, for letter D, it is frequency of the decile class. Yung katapat naman po ni 20 dito sa ating frequency, which is 7. Ayan. And then, for letter E, for our interval, uh, yung magsusubtract tayo. Diba? Pwedeng sa class boundaries. Pwede naman dito sa ating weights or dun sa given. 
So, 57.5 minus 54.5. So, yan. 57.5 minus 44.5 is 3. Or kung dito naman tayo kukuha, 3 din po yan. 55 minus 52 is also 3. Okay. And then after yan, ayan, mag apply na po tayo ng ating formula. Yan. So, lalagay lang natin lahat. 15, 13, 54.5, 7 times 3. Okay, so 54.5 plus the quantity of 15 minus 13 divided by 7 times 3. So 15 minus 13 is 2 divided by 7. Then 2 over 7 times 3 is 0.857. Then yung 0.857, i-add natin dito sa 54.5. We will have 55.357 or 55.36. So, two numbers after the decimal point. So, ibig sabihin, class, the third decile is 55.36 means that 30% of the 50, 50 lang to ha, 50 high school students have weights less than or equal to 55.36 kilograms. So, class, kaya po 30% ang nilagay natin dito kasi nga third decile ang ating hinahanap. Okay? Third decile. Diba? Dun sa ating example nga kanina, dun sa unang slide. Diba? Pagka po third decile, 30%. Kapag first decile, 10%. Okay? So, yan po yung interpretation ng ating data.